That's brutal. Whoa. <laughs> Worst one yet. That's what he told us earlier. Higher? I wouldn't be caught dead by it. Today we're dyno testing different diesel fuels to see which one makes the most power. If you're wondering how we're gonna be doing this, we are gonna be installing this fast fuel system on my truck and using lines right from the pump into the pail. We're gonna be testing Shell, UFA card lock, dyed farm fuel, co-op, Husky, and then finally we will do the Shell V power. We're also gonna add two more fuels to test out. We're doing UFA gold because I forgot that UFA had two different types of fuel. We're doing this because we posted a TikTok and these are what people wanted. And the last one, Costco. Cause, look at <laughs> Costco. Cause you know that a Costco always has the good shit, right? I've been meaning to install a fast fuel on this truck for a while now. A fast fuel system is one of the best upgrades you can do to your diesel truck. It provides better fuel flow, cleaner fuel. It also separates the air out of the fuel, which is something that factory fuel filters don't do. This is extremely good for fuel efficiency, power, and it's very good for the longevity of your high pressure fuel pump and your fuel injectors. This is the sketchiest part, drilling a hole into your fuel tank. I went with the sump on this one. You don't have to do a sump, but I wanted to do one on this truck. We only have about an eighth of a tank of fuel, so we shouldn't leak that much. That was pretty clear, eh? No spillage. I'm covered in diesel and plastic. Yay. Get this thing torqued to 12 foot pounds. Feels like so tight, man. What? That's what the instructions say. Oh, it's way better when you put fuel on it. Last time we struggled super hard, but I just dipped that in the fuel and that worked really good. We're all about the clean installs around here. Oh, I like it to look good. Like that looks pretty good. We could have even cut it a little bit shorter. We got a feed line and a return line. Now all you need to do is hook a line up from the pump all the way to our CB3 injection pump under the hood. This hose has to go from the fast to the CB3 and then the electrical has to go from the engine bay to the pump. Let's put the filters on and we'll give this thing a test. I usually tighten this rear filter and I leave the front one loose just so that we can run the pump, it'll prime the filters, then we'll tighten it up. And if you want one of these for your truck, you can get it from fastride.com and use code DARKIRON to get a free swag bag with your purchase. So like I said, this one, let's go like that. This one's tight, that one's loose. We gotta put a little bit of fuel in the tank, so we'll do that now. And we're gonna test her out. I also installed a fast fuel filter delete, so we got rid of this big ugly filter in the engine bay. Now the feed line that feeds this fuel filter is just there open. In theory, the factory lift pump should not be working anymore. But it's the moment of truth though, we're gonna turn on the key, prime these filters, and hopefully we don't get a bunch of fuel coming out that original feed line. It's turning on. Ha ha. I don't see anything coming out the front yet. So maybe we're good. Well. I guess we start the truck and hopefully we don't have any leaks from our sump or any of our fuel lines. We'll let it run just for a minute to get the fuel up to the injection pump. I imagine it might crank for a little while. Oh. I don't see any fuel coming out there. That must mean our lift pump, the factory one's not working. All right guys, first stop. Co-op. Where's our co-op hill? I guess we could just rode on him as we went. <laughs> now we have to make sure nobody sees us doing this because I don't think we're allowed to put it in pails like this. Well, this stuff is like really yellow, hey? Look at this. I guess that's why it's yellow. Oh yeah, that ain't leaking. All right. Co-op diesel secured. All right, guys, UFA. This one's a card lock. So this is the UFA Diesel X Gold. They actually have separate pumps for it. Whoa, shit. We got pressure. UFA Gold secured. And this is ooh, the UFA 
regular diesel. It looks the same color. UFA regular. Okay, now we are at the Husky, which is also the Esso. So I don't know, Husky slash Esso. I think the fuel is actually Esso, so that's what we're getting. Esso. This stuff looks the same as the UFA, doesn't it? Yep. Maybe it's all the same stuff, we really don't know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Esso. We are at a Flying J with Shell fuel. We just gotta make sure that they have the V Power as well as the regular diesel. No. All right, can't use this shell. They just have regular diesel. <laughs> Peasant juice. <laughs> Couldn't be me. We're at another shell, as you can see here, and uh, this one doesn't have diesel at all. So, on to the next one. Shell number three, and it says diesel on the sign, so they better have freaking V power. This is the stupidest construction zone there is because there's no one even here working. And I don't even know what they're going to be working on when they do work. What is it? They're putting a new, new street light in or something? I don't know. I'm literally just going to run over it. <laughs> like, I needed to go in here. <laughs> Where'd it go? It's pop right back up. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> There's more pylons here. Like, this is a freaking gas station. Oh my gosh, dude. You give up on shell here pretty Okay, what the heck? I have to slalom through. Vinny's stressed out in the back seat. Oh, we got V-Power though. It was worth it, boys. We were thinking that if it was the same pump, we would put a little in the truck so that we made sure we were getting pure V-Power and pure regular, but separate pumps. Stuff's a little darker yellow, eh? Now, V-Power. All right, we got the shell and the Shell V Power. All right, we're here at Costco. We had to drive all the way to the south side of Saskatoon because the north side Costco doesn't have it. I'm try, excited to try some Kirkland fuel. Never tried it. Vinny's excited too. Hey, Vinny. <laughs> what I don't understand though, like all these people are waiting in line for, you know, 10, 20 minutes for fuel to save like what a couple bucks at the pump like i would never like my time is worth more than waiting in line for fuel that's just my opinion maybe i'm wrong let me know in the comments that was uh november 2011 right there <laughs> costco secured. secured all right i think there's a traffic cop on a motorcycle up here we're gonna see if he pulls me over or not it's for sure oh we can go to right lane we can go right next to him <laughs> we can go right beside him what are the chances he pulls us over? 100%. 100%. Oh, yeah. We're in front of a traffic cop on a motorcycle. I'm making my muffler quiet, though, because I got one of those Thunder Muzzy mufflers, so at least he can't give me a ticket for having a straight pipe. Man, he hasn't put his lights on yet. That's crazy. There's no way he doesn't pull me over. No way. He's a traffic cop. This is insane, dude. I have never. You're also speeding like crazy too. I'm speeding. I've never, these guys will literally like whip a U-turn across a busy intersection and almost die on their bike just to come pull me over. And this guy's not pulling me over. What the heck? I have never ever experienced that in my life, man. A motorcycle cop is a guaranteed you're getting pulled over. We were not only speeding in front of him, we have ridiculously wide wheels and tires with no mud flaps and he's on a motorcycle. So they're always like, you're throwing rocks at me. That is insane, man. Must have a horseshoe up my ass today. I don't know how we spilled so much diesel. Like it's all over there. They even hit the back window. They're in pails with closed lids. Lock in, lights, camera action, telly, SPA, it's the top, top stain. Lock in, lights, camera action, I don't fold a bed when it's time to win. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna clamp off the hoses just like that, do both of them. Now they shouldn't leak any fuel out of the tank. We're gonna unscrew them and we'll let them hang in this pail. All right, new plan. We'll uh, keep them clamped for right now. Look at all the clamps we got hanging. Oh, just getting covered in diesel. 
And then we will just use an actual plug. That's way better, hey Josh? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> we'll tighten that up after too. Now we're gonna put these new hoses on and these are gonna run directly into the pails. So this is the return line like that. This will be the suction line. This is gonna be so cool. This is like, we're doing this test proper. I like that. There. Then these go into the pail. So we're ready to start dynawing. The one fuel we haven't got yet is farm fuel. So let's go get some. Oh, so freaking windy here in Saskatchewan. You guys are wondering what kind of fuel the farm has. It's just farm fuel, okay? That's what we're calling it. The reason we're starting with farm is because I have more farm fuel here. We're gonna get a bunch of dyed fuel in the system. We're gonna have to do a few runs to warm the truck up to get every run the same temperature. So if we need more, I can just get some. Once we switch to another kind of fuel, we'll time how long it takes to get all the dyed fuel out of the system so we can make sure we properly purge all the old fuel out and just have the new fuel that we're testing. We're gonna turn the truck on and we're gonna just return some fuel that's in the truck. And we're gonna turn the pump on and we're gonna see how long it takes for the dyed diesel to start coming out of here. Man, that's a lot. Is that dyed now? Yeah. That's dyed, so about 15 seconds. So it takes about 15 seconds to purge the old fuel out of the filters. So it was drinking fuel and I just realized what's happening is that we're returning the fast fuel back to here, but the actual fuel coming off the engine, coming off the CP3 is still returning back to the tank. So we need to make a new return line. We're gonna have a second return line that goes to this pail. So here's our feed line onto the CP3, and then this is the return line. So basically we need to get a hose that we can screw into here and then return to that pail. All right, first run, farm dyed fuel. All right, let's see what we got. We're just doing two runs with each fuel because we got a lot of fuel to go through. Okay, the averages of those runs was 366 horsepower and 694 foot-pounds of torque. Now we're gonna do Costco because I'm curious about this one. So we're gonna put the suction into the Costco fuel. Then these two return lines we'll put in our disposal pail. And we're basically just gonna run the truck for about 20 seconds. We should suck about half of this fuel down and that should get rid of all the old fuel. Come on, start pumping. There we go. Oh, it's already, this one's already changed. See, this one's already new. So that can go back in there. Now we're just waiting for the return line to switch. So next time we'll do it for about 15 seconds. That will purge all the stuff out of here but we're still getting dyed out of here. There we go. Say that's good. And just like that. Brand new fuel. Brand new fuel. All right, Costco fuel. See what we got. Oh, it's better. Definitely better. Okay, the averages of those runs was 376 horsepower, so we gained 10 horsepower, but our torque was only 692 foot-pounds. So that means we actually lost two foot-pounds of torque, which is not really any difference. Now we're gonna try co-op fuel. It's a little bit darker. It almost looks more like beer to me, hey? We'll take beer. I'm interested. All right, co-op diesel. All right, the averages of the run with the co-op fuel was 379 horsepower, which was three horsepower higher than the Costco fuel, but our torque remained the same at 692 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna do the ESO fuel. After the ESO, we got UFA regular versus UFA gold and Shell regular versus Shell V-power. All right, this is the ESO fuel. That was the worst run yet. <laughs> worst one yet. 
I wouldn't be caught dead by an SO fuel. <laughs> Oof, SO fuel, man. That's not that great. Keep in mind, we try to make these tests as fair as possible, but you should always take these dyno results with a grain of salt. These are just the real world numbers that we're finding in the shop, and I'm just giving it to you guys. So I don't want to get sued by any of these companies. This is just what we found. <laughs> So with ESSO, we dropped down to 368 horsepower, which is just, that's 11 horsepower loss compared to the co-op. And our torque was the lowest torque ever at 681 foot-pounds. I don't know what to tell you. Next! So this is the UFA, which is a card lock gas station here. They have two types of diesel. This is the UFA boring peasant fuel. That is the UFA premium, or they call it gold. So we're gonna start with the regular UFA diesel first. Dick and Elijah. Dick and Elijah. Hey Vinny. Where'd you come from? Okay, with the UFA poor person diesel, we got exactly the same as the SO. 368 horsepower and 681 foot pounds of torque. Like exactly the same. Maybe it's the same fuel. But now we get to try the UFA Gold. Our return pail is getting pretty full, so I'm gonna put some of this swamp water into my truck just to get some of this out of there. You got it up there, butter, or what? Uh, I thought we'd do it as a team, but. I just like when you're behind me. Swamp Diesel, mmm. So good, so good. <laughs> So I've only actually ran UFA Gold in my truck like once because I just got a card lock card, but my buddy let me use his card lock card last year. And I swear I noticed a difference in power, fuel economy, and just the truck felt like it ran better. Maybe it's the placebo effect. I don't know, but I just thought it made a difference. So I'm curious to see what it does on the dyno. Higher? But first, our word from our sponsor, which is me, because I never have any sponsors. Delete Your Truck, Not Your Dick merch is available on the site. We also have other designs like the Grand Theft Auto style. And Josh has the classic turbo print on right now. So if you want to support the channel, you can go to darkirondiesel.com, get yourself some super sweet merch. Now let's get into the actual dyno results. Okay, with the UFA Gold, we went back up to 375 horsepower. Torque still stayed at 681 foot-pounds of torque. Right now, Co-op fuel is still in the lead. And it's funny because people always like to trash talk co-op fuel, but I've been running co-op fuel in my truck for years. I've never had an issue. We need a co-op discount code here, guys, come on. Now, let's switch to Shell. This is just the Shell regular diesel. All you run is Shell diesel? So you're, you want this, do you run the regular stuff or the V-Power? In the winter, sometimes I run the V-Power. Okay. But right normal. So this is what you normally run? All right, let's see what it does. With that, with it. So it gives me an extra 35, 45 horsepower. Easy. All right, Shell regular diesel. All right, with the Shell regular diesel, we went back up to 376 horsepower, and we also increased torque to 687 foot-pounds. Noticeable mention, on the first run we did with the Shell regular diesel, we had our highest single run torque number at 701 foot-pounds. Just something to note. But now, the V-Power. <laughs> All right guys, with the Shell V-Power, 372 horsepower and 693 foot-pounds of torque. So we actually got four more horsepower with the regular Shell diesel. But we picked up six foot-pounds of torque with the V-Power. Now I'm pretty sure V-Power has a bunch of additives that make it better for your truck and your injection system and all that stuff. I don't know if it's actually supposed to increase power, but I was really hoping it would. So the highest horsepower was actually co-op fuel. It also had one of the highest foot-pounds of torque. Now the farm fuel we had, that's actually just the UFA regular diesel. It's UFA fuel, it's just died. But we'll put the results on the screen for you to see for yourself. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to support the channel, go to darkirondiesel.com, get yourself some super sweet merch, and we hope to see you on another video soon.